This is to show you how to uh, use SciSpace for the first time. Uh, suppose you have downloaded SciSpace uh, 5.3.r10 in the exe file. So this is a Windows application. Uh, if you put it in the folder and you have installed Java and just double click on it. So if this is the first time you're installing SciSpace, you will see uh, downloading some demo files uh, will be two demo projects. So this is the welcome page and the yellow highlights is the new. So you can see some references here if you want to read more detail. Uh, here press agree, agree button. Okay, so this is the interface of SciSpace. You can put this uh, window down here. You will see some information or uh, warning or messages uh, along the way. Okay, so this is the demo project. Uh, the data is retrieved from the Web of Science on uh, terrorism. So this is the brief uh, introduction of this interface. Time slicing. This is the range of the windows when you're publishing inside this window. What they cite will be visualized in the uh, as a network model. And the notes, uh, note types. Uh, the default is cited references. The the references or articles that has been cited by the articles in the data set you download. So the selection criteria, this is how uh, how many records, uh, what kind of records they will be included in the calculation. So top 10, 50 means for each year, for each slice, you will take the uh, most cited papers uh, for the first 50 levels. That means the first few levels. Uh, if you have equal, equally highly cited, uh, all of them will be included. So for the demo project, you just press the go button. <coughs> so as you can uh, see here, SciSpace reporting uh, the process we're reading through those files, data files, you know, data folder. Uh, under this column space, you will see a uh, number of qualified uh, or valid references. And under the column nodes, uh, those are the ones that selected or meet the criteria. The report here says the uh, resultant network has 277 nodes and 1,035 links. So this is uh, the option you want. You have, uh, you want to visualize. This is the initial page, and it shows the layout process. When the uh, the background screen is black, that means the process is still ongoing, and it's the configure uh, the layout. So when it's ready, it's turned to white background. So first of all, how to change the number of uh, notes? <coughs> how to change those notes with labels? So currently, if you look here, the node labeling is under this uh, control panel, the node labeling section. Uh, you have uh, several options. One is by citation. So in in terms of the how many times node or paper has, has been cited, you get uh, the labels uh, proportionally to the number of citations. So you can change this. If you raise this threshold, you have fewer nodes with labels. If you raise even further, you'll see, you'll see the difference. <coughs> so this is uh, generally two groups separated uh, by some nodes here. Uh, you, you will notice the purple ring that indicate uh, some high between and centrality centrality 
for these nodes. For example, if you click on it, this is North CS uh, 2002. And this paper in a special position here because the linkage is uh, the, uh, what is it called, the bridge between the upper part and the lower part. Similarly, the other end of the edge is also a, um, a node with a high between and centrality. So if you want to get out of this mode, just click on it and uh, move and release. You can, uh, using this function here called the uh, burst detection, if you click on that, you will see some nodes become uh, red. There's a, a red tree ring or citation ring in it. And so that means uh, the citation, number of citations increase quite suddenly in a period of time. If you want to look at more of those bursts, you can use this Versus tab. So this is the default setting. Uh, so currently there are 11 items have some, uh, they have some bursts. You can relax the condition, for example, uh, by lower, lowering this 2.7 and refresh and then you'll get more items. Uh, so that means detection is more sensitive than the default one. So to view this currently in the list uh, with the citation burst, you can see this list. Uh, the red bars or red sections uh, indicate the periods of bursts. So you will see none of them, burst, none of those bursts will last forever. And you can uh, sort them in different ways by sorting according to how long the length of the duration and you can see the longest one on top you can also sort them by the strengths so the strongest the burst is on top and then go back to the original one this is the um, chronological order you can save this to html you can of course close it The most uh, typical way to use it is to next step is to find the clusters. Click on it. You will see there's 41 clusters. Uh, some of the clusters are hidden. Uh, what is uh, what you see here is only the largest connected uh, component. If you look here in the filter, you'll see that's the default. Show the largest connected component only. If you want to see all of them, you can unselect that. So we're going to stay with the lattice connected uh, component for now. So the next step is to find some labels that we can summarize what is about uh, labels using one of these uh, T or K or A. So T uh, indicate that you want to select the label terms from titles of the citing papers. So this is uh, a network of cited references. Uh, all of these are cited by the articles in the data set you downloaded. So if you look at here, some labels are overlapping. That may be, uh, there are several ways to avoid that. You can reduce the size, the bound size. You can also use this function to minimize uh, overlaps. So click on that. <coughs> So the labels are adjusted uh, to avoid overlaps and be uh, just bear in mind the positions may be shifted uh, to avoid overlaps so uh, it's not maybe it may not be exactly where the original location is so that's the uh, something you need to bear in mind so the first on the top the first cluster oh, actually the, the Number one cluster, which is uh, labeled as uh, New York City. And two of the most cited papers are listed here. So you can tell why does it two, the controls here, so it's, uh, by cluster, and also choose the top two most cited members within that cluster. So if you increase to three, it will be every cluster has uh, three most society notes. 
So it depends on the level of details you want, you can change this. So the, uh, the groups down here, there are multiple clusters uh, closely related to each other or connect to each other. The largest cluster actually starting with uh, number zero, an emergency physician. The second largest, uh, go back to the top one, is New York City, and then go to uh, chemical warfare agent. So this is a cluster if you want to, uh, for example, if you want to change to different colors, uh, if you prefer this color background, color in black, you can use this button to make the switch. If you want to switch back, this is the way to switch back. So uh, at this point, you may want to save the image in, uh, in a PNG file, PNG format. You can also save the visualization as a, uh, as a file, the format that can be recognized by SiteSpace. So later on, you can open with a site space directly uh, bypass those processes go through the files data files again so you can also send this save the image and share this with your friend and they can use site space to open it without sending them those uh, data files okay so i'll show you here briefly how to explore the uh, clusters. So very briefly, there's a summary table to show you here. These are the clusters uh, that are contained in the largest connected components. So you can see the size of the clusters, how many cited references in each cluster, and silhouette value, which indicate the quality of each cluster. And then the top terms for uh, different kind of selection methods. So for example, select by latent semantic indexing, select by log likelihood ratio, select neutral information. So this is uh, one way. And the other way is to use Cluster Explorer. Before that, you need to save the cluster information. <coughs> So that be indicate that the information is saved, is ready to use Cluster Explorer. So on the top, there's a list of clusters you can select. If you select the first one, you can see here listed uh, seven citing articles. The seven citing articles, they generate the largest cluster. So on the right hand uh, right hand side window, you can hide this one. Uh, you, right hand side window, you can see a list. Uh, to sort each column, you just click on the first row of the data. So for example, I want to sort it by burst. Click on here, we'll see which one has the highest burst. So this is sigma is a combination of a burst and centrality. You can get a sense of the the articles on the left window cited the articles on the in the right hand side of the window. So you can get a sense of why this is uh, relevant to your interest. This is called the bioterrorism. And the label we select is based on the lock likelihood ratio. So that's his emergency physician. Uh, if you look at the title, you will have some clear idea what it's about impacting the threat of bio-warfare and the bio-terrorism. If you unselect it, uh, everything will go, uh, goes away, will go away. And if you select the second one, you will see clearly the, the labels, cluster labels are highlighted in the, uh, in the titles. So that's what we selected, T for titles. So this is the reason to select it there. So bear in mind the algorithm select these titles, uh, but you may have a better idea what what is the topic. So currently, SciSpace does not allow you to make the changes, but at least that provides you a baseline a reference so that you know 
uh, where to work from to give the appropriate interpretation. Okay, so another column uh, that'll be interesting to look at is the year, the average of the year for the members uh, of the cluster. So among these clusters, uh, the 2001 is the most recent ones. Uh, uh, bear in mind, the data set was downloaded many years ago, 2003. So 2001 was the latest. If you want to uh, select which one is more recent, which one's older, uh, you can use this column as a reference. There are many other controls uh, here, so I suggest you to uh, start with the simple ones using uh, this demo to look around and there's a another view it's called a timeline view click on this timeline view if they ask you uh, you want to proceed you can proceed type yes let me move this around here so the uh, timeline is going from the left to the right and so you can make it smaller so at this point, uh, top three most cited nodes in each timeline at each year is uh, are shown. So if you want to show some uh, other labels, uh, for example, using uh, burst, and you want to reduce its threshold as well. So. Okay, so currently font size is four, and you see the very small, tiny labels. If you want to increase them, so that you can uh, you can read them. So you see that the red tree ring or citation rings indicate there's a burst involved for that article. <clears throat> Indication of a year, you can look at uh, vertically. So that's correspond to 1998 and then 1999, 2000, 2001, and 2002. So there's some other controls. For example, you want to control the transparencies of links. So this is the one, link alpha. You can strengthen the, uh, the links or make it more transparent going to the left. Right. Uh, okay. I think another function is the uh, these arrows that indicate uh, what is it called the link walk through. And uh, if you try this, click on that, it will show the link in a particular year added in 1996. If you press again, 1997. Uh, so you see one link added here. 1999, these are all the connections made by 1999. So you can see from here, look backwards. That's what it means, uh, back, uh, look back years, how, how long you want to look back. Sometimes you want to limit these windows to a narrow window. So you can change that parameter. So if you keep going, <coughs> you will see how uh, how the linkage uh, pattern changes uh, over time. You can also go backwards using this button to go backwards. Okay, thank you. I, I think this is uh, the basic how to get us started with SciSpace. Uh, I will have more videos about other functions. Thank you.